Good morning, everybody. Farmer Min here. Welcome to Tuscan Lands, a new map out today, uh, the 20th of July. Splendid. Absolutely splendid. This is a map by, um, I don't know if it's Mikey E. Mikey or Mickey E. Mickey. Um, also, it says it's powered by Team FSI Modding. A dandy little map um, with some very cool features on it and uh, very nice buildings. I, I like the buildings. I absolutely like the buildings. Um, they're different. They kind of have that uh, Italian Tuscan look to them. Um, pretty neat. Pretty neat. I kind of like it. It's, um, I would say it's a very huge match map. Uh, there's a lot of outlying areas that are kind of unused. So the actual footprint of it um, seems to be kind of a uh, nice, tight, close-knit map. Um, looking at the map itself, let's go do that. Whoops, let's get back to um, this page here, the map. I should also point out is that I, I did a few things on the map, so the money is not right, but I did this on normal. You start off with the standard $20,000, or what is the currency in uh, Italy? That's an interesting thing. What, what is the currency in Italy? Do they still use the, uh, the euro, or is it... Uh, Yep, it's the euro. Okay, there it is. It's the euro. So 20,000 euros uh, with a loan of 75,000. But here's the map. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a uh, makeup of different shaped fields, different sizes, kind of centered around the farm. The farm is the center of the map. Here I am at the farm. You have all three animals plus your chickens on this farm. Um, the outline areas, you have a cell point kind of for each thing. So one cell point for each thing. Uh, you have two egg cell points, I should point out there. But if you start on the um, upper right, the northeast corner, you have the cooperative. That's going to be your um, wheat, barley, canola, soybeans, corn, sunflowers, um, potatoes area there. Then you have a sawmill here where you would sell your logs. You have a seed and fertilizer, which is kind of like a garden center where you're going to get your seed and uh, dry and liquid fertilizer. You have a straw cell point here next to the livestock market. You have a separate wood chip cell point, the BGA bunker. You have a wool cell point coming down to the bottom end. And the sugar cell point, which would be sugar beets and sugar cane. So that's kind of it. There's this main road that kind of goes around the outside. Easy to get to, um, get to your cell points. Starting off, you have fields 1, 4, 2, and 24. I should also point out 24 is a grass field. Um, there are no separately marked individual grass fields that you can buy, but as you can see, the outlying area here, there's lots of grass. Um, do point out now, if you want to fertilize that, you would have to actually plow it, plant grass, and create a field with it, but there's a lot of grass for you to, um, to cut. Yeah, good stuff there. Um, We'll go through some field sizes and prices here after a little bit. Um, but looking at the uh, prices here, the prices, sale point menu, you can see you have the farm silo, which, um, because I started off on normal, I will have some crops in the silo. The BGA bunker, that'd be your silage, manure, manure and slurry. Cooperative, which I said will sell your main crops. The straw, which will sell your straw. The sugar, sugar beets, and sugar cane, wood chip sell point, and wool sell point. So that's pretty simple. Uh, not a lot of choices there. Uh, going over, you do have a loan of 75000 but of course I made a few changes on here, so that number is not right. All three animals, of course, you did not start out with any. And you have a 100,000 liter capacity in your silo. But the silo is interesting, and I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, starting equipment, let's go through that real quick. You have a New Holland T5, a Sammy Fortis, the um, stole front loader, universal bucket pallet fork. You do have a TC590 combine with straight header, farm tech tipper. You have a Kuhn cultivator and plow, Great Plains cedar, converting and fertilizer spreader, a couple weights, water drinker. Uh, the chainsaw you do not have. I just did that for my little experiment here, so disregard the chainsaw. Power washer, and that is it. Nothing is leased. Now, for those of you looking for your weights and your bucket and your pallet fork, <laughs> they come into the game on the outside of the wall here, uh, kind of uh, in the trees. So this is where you will find your weights, your bucket, and your pallet fork in case you happen to be looking for them. 
kind of neat little building. I like I like the I like the uh, light posts. I like the textures of the building. They kind of look pretty cool. Yeah, you know they're not real clean. They're not real crisp. But you know what? Um, we can over overlook a few things. Uh, this tractor and trailer is separate. I got that for my little experiment here. Um, like I said, all three animals are on the farm. They are over in that direction, and we'll take a look at them. Your uh, chickens are right here. There's a gate right here, which does kind of expand and contract as it opens and closes. Kind of interesting. They're a nice big gate. They will how in the world is that gate ever going to shut? Well, it just magically uh, contracts. Is that the right word I'm thinking of? Yeah. But there's your chickens. Um, I'm just going to start this. I'm going to make a loop around a uh, loop around the farm, and then we'll make a loop around the map. Um, for those of you wondering, this is an interesting feature of this map. Here you have a signs, and there are cool signs on this map. I, I do I do like that. Uh, yes, it is an Italian. Uh, Sapato, Paglia, Fieno, and Herba, which would be wood chips, straw, hay, and grass. So then you say to yourself, is that a cell point? No, it's not on the map. Um, I believe it's a storage point. Um, for those things and here's what I did I went out and cut I wood chipped a few trees here That's why I have this tractor and little trailer here. So I have 5613 liters of wood chips So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back it in here There we go back my wood chip trailer in here And I'm going to unload it here, which it's gonna let me there it goes So I am unloading wood chips in there and nothing is selling because you have wood chips, straw, paglia, straw, fieno is hay, and herba is grass. Okay, so that's pretty neat. Well, now what happened to my wood chips? If I go into my menu here, you'll see that uh, I now have 5613 in storage. That is pretty darn cool. Well, where is that, you say? Well, that is over here, right next door. You have these uh, bins here. How the wood chips get here is, is is magic, but just kind of just go with it, people. Just go with it, and then I pull up here. Look at that! I can unload my wood chips. You have wood chips, hay, straw, and grass. The four things that you can empty in there. There goes my wood chips. Oh, right through the trailer. That's not good, but they're in there. So yeah, so that's pretty cool. So in case you're wondering, that's what that is. Is a separate storage system for your wood chips, straw, hay, and grass. Pretty neat pretty neat I do have to say the capacity I'm assuming it's just a hundred thousand um, that would have to be played with but on this end of the farm area you see you have uh, that storage point you have some open space there cool brick buildings I like it you do have lights um, the lights were automatic oh I should point out that I did start this with seasons enabled it is on the northern Italy geo so it is the first day of spring that's why the trees look the way they do and as we go on with this tour I'm gonna to speed up time and go through the through the seasons to see what it looks like is my theory across the yard you got some more open-ended storage there all these doors do open so you do have um, a storage here some of them open in some of them open out but that's a nice big storage building there, of course, with lights. And from what I understand is they're all automatic. Because um, when I first came in this map, it was early this morning, and all the lights were on. So that's that building there. Like I said, you have another building here, which I open the door. These doors swing out. A little different. The ground is kind of cool, how you have that kind of worn, dirty look. The ceiling looks pretty cool, like water stains, water is dripping in there, maybe a little mold. Um, I like that appearance to it. The vines on the building, another cool added touch. I really like that. I like the buildings. I mean, the, the buildings are neat. Um, relatively huge courtyard here. That is for sure. Uh, you do have some options, you know, with placeables and stuff like that as well. But I should, I didn't, I don't think I pointed out. There are two placeable areas on the map that you don't need to purchase. So you can just, uh, have a go with them. Uh, this building here would be your cows. Um, here you have your feed and water trough. Nice big grass hilly area for the cows. I like that. This gate does open up. However, this is not the uh, buy point for the cows. We'll get to that in a second. Um, cool little drive-through building here where you have another, another trough 
with the cowls. And look at this building. It's just pretty neat. The curved ceiling, the archways. I mean, I really like this. This is a dandy of a building. Um, I think it's neat. It's different. You know, it is very different. Um, kind of stands out to me on the map. Stands out a lot. Each animal is going to have this little, um, I should know what these are called. I've, I've been with them a couple times. Uh, loading, unloading, corrals, gates, whatever you want to call it. This is your buy point. So there you go. There's, see, there's your stuff. There's your cows. We'll buzz by two cows. And they are out there roaming around. I haven't really been watching to see if they fly through the building or walk through the building or um, what they do. But they're out there. So that is your cow buy point. And your cows here. He is walking out. And that one, the other one's walking down. So that's pretty neat. I really, really like that. Um, big fan of that. Big fan of the buildings on this map. Next door here, you see you'll have your uh, manure and your slurry. Now, I'm not so sure if you do have to muck it out or not. Um, doesn't seem to look like it to me. It looks like it's automatically going to spawn there. But that would just have to be a play with it. Um, you do have a BGA bunker right here, right next to the cows. That's pretty convenient with lights. I like that. Um, we'll just keep going around the edge, and then we'll cover the middle stuff. You do have these dumpsters here. You add a, add a little uh, feature to it. Um, kind of nice and neat. Right next door, you're going to have your sheep. It's kind of the same setup. Another cool building. I like that a lot. Um, oh, no, this is not the sheep. The sheep's right next door. This here is your silo. I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. This is your silo. Um, here you can see your uh, fill point will be here where your, your crops will come down. And this here will be your drop-off point. That's pretty neat. Different. I'm assuming this is your silo into here. Um, I've never seen something like that. I don't know. But that's kind of interesting. But that is your silo there. So, another cool building though. Awesome. I like it. That's different. You know, something different. Um, play around with that. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can use that for drive through maybe storage, a truck and a trailer, a lorry, tractor and a tipper, whatever you may choose. Um, I believe this gate opens, which would be another entrance um, into the farmyard on the back side here. Yep, that does. So you can drive through there. Right next door is your sheep. Um, another cool sheep building. Like I said, this is also the uh, buy point for the sheep. So do I have enough money? Oh, yeah, I'll have to get some more. Buy two sheep there. Hello, sheep. Good to see a sheep. Um, you do have a trough here. This would be your water trough there. The sheep have another cool building with a feed trough there, you know. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be, who knows what that's supposed to be. Well, it's like more like a graffiti, but, uh, or like the uh, black Spider-Man thing. I don't know. Uh, cool building there. Your wool does spawn here. Here is the sign, Lana, which means wool. So your wool will spawn there. That's pretty neat as well. I like that. You do have a gate to get in there just in case you wanted to. And uh, entrance going out that way. This here is field two, I believe, which you do own. Yep, that's field two. Uh, that is one of the fields you own, kind of an L-shaped field. It goes around that way. Um, next door, right over there, you do have your cows. You have uh, another neat building here with the curved archways there. The lamppost add, add a little flavor to it. I like that as well as you'll have another building here too. This one is interesting. This one, I think they're meant to be a storage building because um, here you have signs for each thing it's supposed to be. Uh, patate, I don't know, potatoes perhaps. Uh, I don't know what that is. Let me, let me do my uh, fancy um, English or Italian to English um, translation. Barba Beetle. Whoops, I can't spell right. Um, barb, ab, I E T O L E. Beets. Okay, that means beets. Well, I suppose that would be a beet. Why didn't I just look at the picture? Um, somewhat of a sugar beet. So beets, potatoes, and um, ins. I gotta look at that one up too. Uh, I can't tell the picture. It looks like a. Hey, it could be silage, maybe. Could it be? 
Silage, yep. Silage. Alright, I suppose. Insul I'm overthinking it too much. I'm overthinking it. Um, so that's so storage place with signs. That's kind of cool. I like that. Something different. Here you have some uh, covered storage with your combine, a couple tractors, your water container there. Over here is your pigs building. Kind of identical to the sheep. Um, pretty nifty as well. Here you have your feed trough here. Uh, water trough there. Now there are some cool things on this. And um, looks like water puddles in the ground. I kind of like that. That is pretty cool. Little ripple in the water there. You know, in low-lying areas you have some water staying in there. That's pretty cool. I like that feature to it. Adds another dimension to the map. Adds, adds some more character. Um, a different feel for it. Um, right here, of course, kind of the same thing. This would be... Oh, I had to jump over here. Um, your pig uh, buy point. I think I'm out of money. Yep, I'm out of money, but we can just borrow a few extra bucks. Not like I'm going to be paying it back or anything. You know what I mean? And besides, gotta have the bacon. Gotta have the bacon on the farm. You betcha. Manure slurry for there. Um, there's a straw bale there, so that'll be interesting to see if that's where your straw point is. And another uh, decoration straw bale there. Or you could just dump it over the edge. But there's your bacon. Gotta have bacon. Gotta love the bacon. Uh, pretty neat. Pretty big pig pen. That is a huge pig pen. Um, now, so that's kind of the outline area. You come back around here. Um, you do have a water trough here, which I'm assuming is going to be a water fill point. Here you can see like a little water spilled over on the ground. Yeah, you know, it's not the best thing in the world, but hey, it adds a little bit with a fountain there. I'm assuming that's going to be your water. You probably have to pay for that, I would guess. I would guess. And then you come back around to the main entrance here. In the middle, you do have some storage buildings. We've been in that one. Here's some um, open-ended covered um, storage here for your equipment. Um, this would be your fuel refo refill point here. What I have not found on the farm is a seed fertilizer refill point. Hence, the seed and fertilizer buy point just up the road. So if you wanted something like that, you would have to place that in here as well. Dandy looking tree. Dandy looking tree. Nice centerpiece there. A uh, oh, little, little bit of a glitter there. Um, so that's kind of cool. So that is the main farmyard. Um, pretty nifty, I think. I like the farmyard. You know, I like the buildings. I like the uh, ivy growing on the, or whatever it's called, growing on the side of the building. A separate storage system for those four things is pretty neat as well. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So... If we take a look around the map, and I'm just going to borrow this tractor here. I'm just going to borrow this tractor here. I'm going to make one big loop. And as I make the loop, um, the seasons will change. So we'll just kind of go with that. Uh, I'll zoom out here so there you can kind of see an overhead view of the farm. Um, got your animals along the outside. Uh, storage in the middle of the, with a bunker. So that's kind of the main farm here. That's pretty cool. Pretty nifty come out here and we'll just take a left and we'll make a loop now I should point out straight across there in case you're wondering is the store that'll be the last thing that we hit um, here we have another sign that is in Italian which sadly enough I do not speak um, Torino 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 is ground um, so ground in and then Vendita, ground in, well, it's not translating Vendita. Why is it not translating? Ground in sale. So Trano ground, Vendita, sale, ground in sale. This is field number 25. It is 5.35 hectares, 432,000 to purchase that puppy. So yeah, spendy. Uh, compared to other maps, it's going to be a lot less expensive. Compared to some, it's going to be a lot more expensive. So we come out here, here's what we're going to do. There's my little icon. We're going to go straight north of the sawmill, and we're going to make a loop around the map as the seasons change, and then we'll come up the other side. We'll check out the cooperative, the shop, and uh, that will be it. Now, like I, I don't know if I did say this, but you have a couple forestry areas on the map, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to show you. 
Um, right here, just north of the farm, is kind of a forestry area with roads all intermingling in it. I'm not going to drive through there. You can check that out. As well as up here by the sawmill, you'll see these brown roads. Those, so those are roads that are going to take you up on top of the hill, overlook the valley. Uh, pretty neat. So you can do some um, logging up there if you would like. So you leave the farm, you head north. There's my one tree that I did cut down to try my wood chips. So that was not actually way there to begin with. Um, under the overpass here, I feel like I could have picked a faster tractor. Uh, but we'll, we'll survive. We'll make it. Coming up straight north and off to the right, up in the hill, that's that little path road that you can take up in there um, and do some logging if you like. I kind of like the feel of how it looks like the border just kind of keeps on going. You don't just have a, a, a blank wall. I kind of like that. Yep, really could have chosen a faster tractor. Didn't quite think that one through. Um, there's traffic on the map. I haven't seen a person or I haven't seen a gold nugget. So that's it. I mean, I haven't seen one yet. i kind of been around here playing around. Um, so you'd come into here to the sawmill. And this is where you can sell your logs. There are gates coming in here. I'm assuming it's going to be right there on the left would be my guess. So that is the sawmill, the sign. Uh, did it say anything? No, just kind of got a design on it. Okie dokie. Um, that's okay. Cool rock feature there. I like that. So that's kind of set up kind of nice. Um, on the left here is going to be the first placeable area that you can use if you wish for right there. You don't need to buy it. You can use it for whatever you want. And to the right, um, the forest sign there, that's a path. It goes all the way up there to the top of the map. So check that out if you want. Straight ahead, that would be the end of the map. So we're gonna backtrack a little bit and take a and take a right here and head up to the other cell points. Traffic on the right side of the road. Makes it easy for me. Got your turn signal on there, buddy. Good job. Good job. A little slow driver this morning. Coming up on the left is the seed and fertilizer. This is where you will purchase unless you place some, some placeables, a little sign there. Uh, DuPont, no, Pioneer. Well, it would be DuPont Pioneer. It is DuPont Pioneer side there. So this is where you would buy your seed. Uh, there you'd have your liquid fertilizer, seed, fertilizer. So that is where you would purchase that if you so desire or however you may do it. Another little path there. That takes you into this little placeable area here on the right. Uh, it is flat when you get in there. A little ridge coming up to it. But this is another placeable area that you can uh, take advantage of. Do whatever you want with. Build another farm, silos, storage, what have you. You can use, um, you can use that. Cool little grass textures though. That's kind of different. I would be interested to know, and I, sh I maybe should have tried this. I'm assuming it's not going to disappear when you mow it or plow it. Uh, that's just an assumption that I have, but you never know. Right up here is the livestock market and uh, straw sell point. So you get up here and there'll be a uh, little road off to the right. Um, right here. No, yeah, right here. Uh, no, I missed it. It's one up there. This is interesting up here. Uh, well, I was going to point this out anyways. Um, a little field here with some um, decorative bales in it. Um, so I'm not... A, yeah, you can't... You know, you could use a little area if you wanted to just uh, um, pretend the bales aren't there. Or <laughs> go around them, but you can't move them. So that's, uh, that is there. Because right next door is the livestock market and the and a straw bill sale point here. So yes, yeah, so I don't know how you could use that there. Uh, you could maybe do a couple strips of potatoes if you wanted to for the pigs. Pull in here another little uh, gate entrance into here. You do have a fountain there, it looks like, for water. Here would be your straw bales right there. And right next door here is the um, livestock market with some... 
different looking uh, static cows. So I don't know how I like that. I'm not a big fan of static animals to, to begin with, but they are out there. Different looking though. Hey, got to get that. Um, I don't know where the um, the trigger is. I suppose I could have had that option up here on my menu. It's not across there. Um, there's no real gate. Oh, there it is. Just right in here. Okay. So you pull in right in here. You could buy your animals if you so desire. Like I said, kind of a cool looking building. Look at that. Is that a reflection? Look at that. That's kind of cool. I like that. Reflection onto the building there. Neato. Neato. I like that. Okie dokie then. Continuing on our little tour. Uh, we're now up the top corner. Uh, the next stop is the uh, the wood chip cell point. And then we make the turn. We go down to the BJ bunker, the wool and the sugar cell point. Uh, there are some little areas up here as well. So here is the wood chip area here. You can take that path. Kind of goes up to the top of the hill. There's some houses up there. A uh, little community thing. You can explore that area if you so desire. But here is the wood chips. Simply just come in, uh, drive over, back over, whatever you want. Sell your wood chips. I don't know if you can sell logs here too. I haven't tried it. Um, but give it a shot if you so desire. Okay, now I'll quit saying that. I've said it too many times now. Um, if that's what turns your tractor, you know what? Go for it. Go for it. There you go. There's the livestock market. We are now continuing on into uh, mid-spring. The trees have uh, leafed up. Vegetation is growing. Grass is growing. Um, the tour continues. We are making our loop around. Now we are coming down to the uh, heading south here. And right off to the right is the BGA. Cool little smokestack going there in the background. That's pretty dandy. We'll have to check that out. Uh, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Little graffiti on the side of the wall. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, coming here to the right is the biogas facility. There's a sign here that does say, oh, biomass. Did I say biogas? Biomass. Biomass. This is going to be, uh, ooh, look at that. Now that's some dandy graffiti there. Uh, that's some colorful stuff, I tell you. Um, interesting. Interesting. Interesting stuff there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okie dokie then. Open the gate here. I'll try to open the gate. There we go. Open the gate. It's a standard BGA. Um, nothing sticks out to me. Well, the grief feet and the wall sticks out to me. But you come across the scale. There you go. You've got the silage bunkers here. Um, how many do you have? How many do you have? One, two, three, four. Five. Big open space, so you can use that for something if you like. Um, oh, grass coming through the wall there. Okie dokie. But that's kind of it. I mean, that's what, what can you say? It's about it's biomass plant, BGA. Um, there's the digester there. The Silo King. So that's kind of that. Nothing else that we need to, uh, to discuss there. We'll go across the scale here. And we'll continue on. So now we are just kind of heading south here, past the BGA bunker, the uh, wool cell point as I hit the street light. That bad driving. Terrible driving. Hit the, um, the wool cell point. There's another one of those spots where you can go up into the trees, do some logging. A little road kind of meanders through there. That's kind of neat. Um, what happened to the smokestack thing? Oh, it's up there yet, behind the tree here. Um, I don't know if they call it the spinnery here, or what they call it. Um, check it out. It's just kind of a big industrial building where you would sell your wool. Uh, you know, as much character and detail as this map um, has, I think that it kind of lacks in certain aspects of it, if that makes any sense or not. Uh, just my humble opinion. Um, you know, you'll have your opinions. You'll Some will absolutely love it, some won't. Lanifico, Lanifico, 
Yeah, great demand. Hey, look at that! Great demand for wool at, at the uh, the wool sell point. So you pull into here, and there'll just be a big uh, open spot there for the wool. Of course, you just have to open the gate. But yeah, big industrial building. You pull in there, and you can sell your wool. I mean, that's all that can really be said about it. Um, and there's a smokestack. That's kind of neat. I like that. See, a touch like that looks kind of cool. But you know what? I I don't know. Um, I guess I don't know what a spinnery looks like. I suppose it would be uh, places that use wool to make clothing. So maybe it does have that industrial feel to it. I suppose that makes sense in a way. Uh, we'll just continue on our little uh, roundabout journey here. Like I said, you do have these crisscrossing roads that will take you back to the farm and some other fields. Uh, but looking at the map, the next stop is the uh, sugar sell point. But if you take a look to the right, you can see that you do have some wide open grass space. Um, you can use that as you wish. Mow, turn, you got some lumber, some trees there that you can um, sell. So you do have some possibilities with it um, as well. But just kind of go with it. Just go with it, people. Um, well, another smokestack going there. Boy, they got a lot of a uh, lot of industry here in the uh, Tuscan lands. Um, interesting stuff. Look at that. Now I have a great demand for corn. Well, I suppose because time is just cruising by here. Um, trying to speed up the seasons here. So this here is going to be your s another sign. I like the signage. It does tell you what it is. This is <laughs> I wonder if I can put, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Uh, nope, not going to pronounce that. But this is your sugar um, sell point for your sugar beet and sugar cane. You would come in here and sell. Open the gate. There you go, gate. And I'm assuming you would just... Um, right in here, sell it um, into that little uh, pit, conveyor kind of thing, goes up into there, but that, um, that's that, that's that. Well, so now we're kind of right here, night is falling, I'm going to continue to make the path, uh, the day will skip, it might just be a little bit fast forward here, and then we're going to get back up into the, uh, up in the upper corner by the shop and the eggs, so I'll see ya in just a little bit. Just here, kind of straight uh, east of the shop, the farm. Um, this is, from what I can gather, the only water source on the map, even though it doesn't really say water source. So if you wanted to, you could try to get water out of here. I don't know. A um, little milky looking water there. Um, but yeah, interesting stuff. little river flowing here. That's kind of cool. Neat little water area there. So that's that. Um, we're just going to continue our tour. A couple places left to see. And that's kind of about it for the map, I guess. Um, like I say, it's not uh, it's not a big sprawling map. There's not a lot of cell points. So there's not a lot of places to... Um, now, where in the heck did my tractor go? Oh, there it is. Oops, sorry about that, buddy. I don't mean to be uh, blocking your way there. But you could have gone around me. Uh, you have plenty of room to do that. 
but that's your choice. Um, coming up here, you're going to see we have the an egg sell point here on the right, which we will check out the cooperative and the shop. That's about it. Here's the overpass, too, that goes by the farm. Um, so what you would have to do to get to the egg sell point, which I know is not like a big uh, dramatic thing, you just kind of make the loop up here. And right here you have the Agro Agri Turismo, I tell you. That's kind of neat. Um, hey, there's people. Hey, people. How you doing? A uh, little cafe here, maybe, perhaps, or something. That's kind of nice. Oh, I can't go into that there. But yeah, that's here. Um, JCB is on sale. That's good stuff. I don't need a JCB at the moment. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Um, yeah, people walking around here. Little parking area there. There you have it. I'll get my tractor out of your parking lot, and I will continue on my way. So, with that said, um, we'll just visit the cooperative and the dealership, and we'll call her good. But yeah, the crops are growing. Whoa, tree. Not too shabby. That's a big cooperative. That is a big cooperative there. Oh, we do have a little town center. We got to visit that. Uh, got some cool buildings in there, even though they kind of just look like they've been uh, just placed down there. Um, sadly enough. But we'll pull into here. To the cooperative. Pretty fancy. Pretty big place. So this will be your main sell point. I would take it for all your uh, crops. Um, including potatoes. That is a huge place. Open the gate here. They're not even open yet. Um, figure out how this works. I'm assuming just around the corner there. Drive through here. Interesting. Interesting, I have to say. Come around to the side, and there you go. There is where you would sell your stuff. That's it. Big, <laughs> big building, three little bins, and a sell point. So yeah, that is the cooperative. Pretty nifty. Now, as far as the rest of the, oops, sorry about that. As far as the rest of the map goes, um, if I would take a right here, that would just meet up with the other road, and uh, that would kind of go um, back up towards the sawmill, what have you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a left. We're going to take a little bypass road. We're going to head out past the farm, into the past the dealership, and into the town center. Just to show you that, kind of get a feel for it. Uh, the thumbnail picture on this, whoa, I, I just made it. Uh, a little deceiving, because it's not quite like that from what I can gather. Um, it is what it is. And then we'll get into fall, and we'll end with winter at the... Uh, so I'm going to come up here, I'm going to get down the... Uh, I don't know if you want to not an expressway or a freeway interstate any kind of thing I think it's just another main road with a couple bypasses on here because you just got to make the loop around and get on it here and the dealership right okay great demand for wool again boy they're trying to get rid of their wool apparently um, here is the dealership on the left, big New Holland sign out front. Um, and of course, straight over there is the farm. So we'll pull into here. Kind of interesting dealership. Um, I actually kind of like it. And I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll see you here in the morning. Here we are at the dealership in the morning. Autumn has arrived. The trees have turned. Looks pretty darn good. This is the dealership. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It's a nice looking one. Um, you come into the shop. Here it is. Laid out. Kind of nice. You got a tractor in here with the tire off. Looks pretty snazzy. You got a lot of uh, decor in here. I like that a lot. Here is a customization point for you. So you can do that. I'm assuming... I might have to drive into here, back into that bay. Look at that. Another great demand for wool. Holy buckets. We're getting all kinds of them. But yeah, you got all kinds of stuff out here. If you were to buy something at the store, it'll come 
right out in here in this area here um, the reset point which we're gonna find out now if I can get there I'm assuming it's either gonna be here or back at the farm there's the tractor reset it it is gone it didn't show up here so I'm assuming it's back at the farm let's just see yep we are back at the farm here it is in the courtyard of the farm so that kind of really much sums up the tour except for one place um, if you look at the map the dealership I don't need to go through any more detail there you've already seen that um, we were up here at the shop you would just continue on that road right here and it takes you in to um, kind of the town center which I kind of like so I'm gonna meet you right up here in uh, just a little bit we are on the road there is the dealer step straight down that way we are on the overpass the farm is right there I thought I'd take a little stroll thought I'd take a little stroll um, coming up here this is the road you got a little decline down in here um, up into the village area which I thought we should show um, isn't that little interesting there it's like uh, you know I don't know if they're uh, transformer substations things or whatever I don't know there's a couple of them on the map kind of like um, I guess we would call it my neck there was a transformer there would that be it yeah pretty interesting a little added touch we'll just cut through the woods here and then you kind of come into the village which has some um, neat characteristics to it neat buildings but I like I said it kind of feels like they were just kind of plotted down um, you know other maps they're laid out so nice um, clean crisp it kind of makes sense it kind of makes it feel like it's livable but you come in little parking area on the side you have a nice archway here into the gate and as the Sun is setting um, we will enter here on the uh, on the next day okie dokie next day we come into here the town nice little archway people walking around having a good time road kind of changes <laughs> it almost looks like it's a uh, area rug placed on top of the pavement so that's I'm not a big fan of that but here you just kind of got a bunch of buildings kind of intermingled together um, you know somewhat neat see here I like I like that uh, nice little road it looks like a dirt brick path that's been here for a long time I like that there are some characteristics in the building here you know a neat little identity it kind of goes around here um, but yeah I don't know how I like this on top of the the pavement kind of thing but yeah this is the town center um, nothing really here to see except just the uh, the uh, neat little features to it the buildings but um, doesn't serve any other purpose um, as far as uh, cell points or um, anything that you're gonna have in-game features but uh, you know it's neat like here it just kind of looks like a bunch of buildings have just kind of been plopped down uh, that's just my humble opinion uh, you know some people are gonna like it some people are just uh, not too much and you come out you come off the other side another gateway coming out the other end and um, yeah that's kind of it that is Tuscan lands uh, the new map out today but yeah, I don't know if it's Mikey or Mickey e Mickey um, pretty cool it, you know it is it, it's 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 a nice map um, it's got some cool features I think uh, some people are going to um, are going to um, like it and some uh, are not but that's that's the way it is you know every map is like that um, if you want to have a go at it go have a go at it uh, you might enjoy it um, you start off with some uh, smaller equipment uh, but you have some fields four fields so you can have a go at that but um, yeah seasons enabled we didn't do the winter thing here I'm not gonna fast forward uh, well let's see we're in late autumn let's just see what happens the first day of winter and then we'll um, end it up there here we are actually into the second day of winter the snow has fallen here on Tuscan lands with the North Italy Geo. One thing I did forget to point out was a little car wash thing that they have in the farmyard here. Here you can see a little drive through. Uh, I like this. I like this uh, drive through car wash here. You have the grate on the bottom. Look at that. 
Actually, it looks like uh, moving water down there. That's actually kind of cool. And here is your uh, pressure washer, jet wash, whatever you want to call it, um, right there to wash up your equipment. That is pretty dandy. But here you can see snow has fallen. Um, you're still going to get some of the flowers around here that aren't going to change. But uh, everything else seems to be pretty darn good. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. This is a nice little map. Um, you know, it's not one of those maps that's going to blow you away. Um, nice map. Uh, it's got some cool features to it. You know, um, different size fields, odd shape. It's got some separate storage here, which I kind of like. Um, a lot going for it, you know, in, in all honesty. Um, put together, I haven't found any big dramatic errors. Um, you know, no floating trees, no... Um, barbed wire fences going anywhere you know it's it's an all-around good map that i think a lot of people are going to have fun playing but i kind of wanted to show it off yeah hey look at that even the snow won't fall where the eggs are now i like that idea um the magically changing size gate there um but yeah look at that the eggs now no snow where the eggs are well that's easy to find that's good stuff um nice chickens good chickens but yeah even where the water is, you don't have any snow on there. Um, so yeah, it's a dandy map. Neat buildings. Um, there is some terrain differences, but um, you know, for the most part, it is kind of a flatter map. But um, I like it. My poor animals, they all died, uh, sadly enough. But there you have it. That is uh, the map, Tuscan Lands. Sorry it came out late. Other obligations today, but I hope you found it useful. Uh, maybe even a little in enjoyable and if you did give us a like we'd appreciate that and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet consider doing that as well but from Tuscan Lands Farmer Mint telling you have yourself a great day and keep between the ditches so long